truck works a lot better. I missed it, didn't I? Ah, I did. Not made for grass. This is where I need your help, Laura. Did I make it on this time? Ah, I did. This is where I feel like I need to brood a little bit, kind of like Ian does. But it's hard to brood when you have all this greenery around you and everything. It is a little frustrating though. The black locust trees are starting to bloom, a few other things, and uh, it's uh, probably going to you know, kill the black locust blooms and hopefully nothing else. Had some flurry and sleet. These are all colonies that we made up, I think all besides one or two. And this section here is uh, August splits, late July, early August splits that we made from our own queens about a frame or two of brood, probably one frame of capped brood, maybe another one, yeah, probably about one and a half, about three frames of bee coverage in a, a mated queen. And of course, they had combs, they overwintered as singles, and I don't know, I, for some reason I feel like this is a, like a, I don't know, it's funny, I feel like I'm Ian Steffler over here, talking about cold weather, singles, now we're loading up two-way pallets, we don't have the easy loader though. <laughs> Floral, Floral's my uh, my loader over there. What? Don't shake your head at me. Oh, speaking of which, it'd be nice if you're helping me out with this. Yeah. So we're just, you know, not the fancy on the, the truck up there. You got the aluminum bed. They slide very good on the aluminum bed. And we can load them up on the when the side walls are down. No problem. But you know the weather actually is perfect for moving these pallets. And we've got about well, we can only fit two more on here without going up another uh, stack. And I don't know how my dad would appreciate that. We were borrowing his mower, so we just thought, you know, we're taking it back. We need to move some bees. We'll just kind of kill two birds, one stone. So, anyways. That's what we're doing today. Nothing special, you know. There's nothing fancy. A couple people asked about how we're moving bees. This is a, a genie lift right here. You can find them used sometimes at auctions and LSN and or you know Craigslist, things like that online. And it's really handy. I mean, I've used this for a lot of things outside of beekeeping. It'll handle about 600 pounds, and it saves my back constantly. And uh, I remember reading in Walter T. Kelly's book. There's a there are beekeepers who have bad backs and there are beekeepers that are going to have bad backs. I think that's talking more about professional beekeeping or sideliners who have a lot of bees. And so they're spending a lot of time bending over. You look down over there at those nucleus colonies, you know, they're singles on pallets. You know, I say nucleus colonies, they're the ones that we will be selling. And we got them over to the right as well. But, you know, instead of putting them in a white jester nuke box, we put them in those and we're really thankful because that we did that because tonight it's supposed to get maybe down as low as 29 degrees. And uh, those jester nuke boxes are just not as insulative as the wood and, and we're supposed to get some winds and we've had some storms and stuff. So, you know, just stuff like that. Um, but I'm telling you, when you're bending down, working those things that low, I don't know how Ian does it um, all the time, you know, being taller than I am. after. He, down there for so long it just whew, wears on your back so anyways a lot of people have asked me how we move bees there's nothing fancy about it but it works very well I really like the two-way system I think for um, those who are not you know trucking bees all across America it makes a lot of sense there are beekeepers that still use two ways for that and shoot there's four ways out there and six ways and all kinds of ways to do it so uh, that's just kind of showing you kind of what we do but you can make something like this. I know there's a fellow that makes them specifically uh, hive box lifters. I think he's in Canada. And I think you know most of these things like this brand new. I think are going to run somewhere between eleven hundred and fifteen hundred dollars. So it's a little bit of a price now. If I told you the price that my friend got this for me at, 
you would probably be upset, so I'm not going to. However, I appreciate getting this uh, getting this for me, Clayton. Uh, it's been awesome. Laurel and I very much appreciate it. So anyways, we got to load a couple more of, of these up, and we got to move these to one of our honey yards. And we're going to be showing you that coming up, and um, it shouldn't be too long. We'll be producing some honey, and hopefully the weather people are wrong, like they often are. And we won't get a frost on our black locusts tonight. So thanks for watching this video, and Laurel, let's get to work.